Welcome to Subsurface Circular. This is an adventure game where you play a detective gathering information on the subsurface circular subway system. Let's just jump right into it. Recognition Sequence 1 So it described itself as being inspired by text adventure games. So I think that's pretty much the only way you interact with people is just by talking with them, but obviously it's super slick and has a 3D element to it. I've only played for probably about 30 seconds past this point just to tweak settings and make sure everything's good. So, objectives. See what the stranger wants. Focus points. Nothing there. I don't know what that is. Next station, the gateway. So if you look at this, this is a, a map of the subsurface circular. So we're heading to the gateway. And I'm assuming down here it shows us, I guess, sort of where we're coming from. Sort of? A little bit hard to tell. I assume we're coming from Lovelace, probably, or, or right here and then headed to gateway. Start chatting. Uh, Fabricator Alpha 7. Hello. Hi. Are you a detective? A high level? I am. Hello. Thank the architects. I've not seen one of you since just after I was released. I'm a mid. They're basic, really. But I need your help. I need a tech like you. Wow, I seem to be really grumpy. Also, I'm a little bit surprised. I'm a detective, right? But it seems like they're the one initiating the conversation. Am I trying to passively gain information and not seem too eager or something? I don't know. What am I doing on this subsurface circular subway system? I'm not exactly interrogating somebody in a, you know, in a room in a police station or something. Maybe that'll be clear later on. Uh, does a mid pick up on social cues? No one to let a tech be. Are highs initiated without the ability to recognize when a tech needs their help? Your indicator says fabricator. Why did management put that much smarts in a manufacturing tech? I'm an overseer. It means I have to tour management around. Human tech relations requires at least a mid. Sentence structuring. Full vocal input. People like to talk to a tech who knows when to laugh at a joke. Humoring humans always seems a bit pointless. As long as they're in charge, I don't think many of us have a choice. I think I have a case for you. Hmm? 
What does a high-level detective get assigned? Documentation says that high levels are capable of learning. Abstract thought. <laughs> I paint horses. <laughs> That's right. Management has me investigate discrepancies, workflow errors. Which takes smarts. I understand. Well, I understand as best I'm able. They say your sword are near human. You solve crimes. I do. Are you investigating right now? I just finished a few cases. A few? Well, some of these are interesting. Destruction of property at Teacher Tech intentionally melted their arm to demonstrate the risks associated with chemicals to a room of eight-year-olds. Wait, how is that a crime? Sounds like a medical emergency. Although, if they're a robot, I, I don't know. Maybe a engineering emergency. Attempted murder. A low level steered a cab at a human child topside. That couldn't be intentional, though. Asimov's first law is meant to preclude that sort of thing. In my line of work, you tend to see a lot of texts find the shades of gray. A human author wrote those laws before we even existed. How much must they hate us to assume we're so eager to destroy that it would need laws to hold us back? If he was wrong, I wouldn't have a job. If I had your job, I'd run. Nope, I'm geolocked. Can't leave this train. Wait, can't leave this train... What, like, just right now or ever? Do I just stay on this train always? <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're moving along the subsurface circular. Next station, compile. Humans don't like to let the smart techs wander around free range. I need your help. What is it? Y you'll help? My friend. My friend is gone. Gone? Uh, I can't help. I get my cases from management. But you have to. Ooh, new, new focus point. New objective. But uh, you have to. Tau has disappeared. And you won't help me? So now we know what the stranger wants. Find out what the fabrication tech knows. Uh, focus points disappearances. So what is this? Who exactly disappeared? Wait. Something changed. Did you just unlock a focus point? Tau. Tau 13. My friend. What is a focus point? Apparently it's something even they know about. So somehow the focus point was allow me to... I guess bypass my... My directive, sort of? How do you know about my core functions? I've heard about detectives. Take this case, please. Break management directive. Okay. Thank the architects. Tell me what happened. What disappearances? Tao is gone. But it's not just Tao. Suspicious events are happening across the city. Especially down here. I assume that's why you were active. A few techs disappear every week. Started with one or two, but more and more reports as time goes on. So it looks like we're partially complete with finding what the fabricator 
Fabrication tech knows ME to find the cause of tech disappearances. Got two focus points. Wonder how those work exactly. When did the start? I don't know. That's why I started carrying a gun. I don't want to be the subject of your next investigation. I would be surprised if they're just allowed to carry a gun of their own volition to just choose to get one. There's no way that's... that's legal, right? Given how tightly they're controlled. A gun? Yes, a VX-5000. Armor-piercing ammunition. Should take out anyone trying to hurt me. Human or tech. Well, good to know you have it. Have you shared this with management? They know. I reported town missing. I suspect that's where the rumors are coming from. I'm surprised they didn't assign you this. Lots of detectives on the subsurface circular. I'll conduct my own investigation. Thank you. So now I can use the focus points again. So what if I use the disappearances again? What does that do? Do you know anything more about the disappearances? No. I've told you everything I know. Please find my friend. Suspicious events. Any other strange occurrences? Uh, not that I know of. I'm just glad I met you. I think you're going to figure this whole thing out. Now where's this one going? The speed we're talking. Am I speaking too fast? I know I do that. No, that's fine. Ah, glad to hear it. Of course, as a tech, you can go into settings and update your reading speed at any time. <laughs> that's a clever way of, yeah, of saying I could just go into the settings menu. That's pretty clever. So yeah, if the reading speed was wrong, I guess that was like a, a little prompt to uh, a way in universe to say, yeah, speed it up or slow it down without having to go to the settings menu. That's really cool. It's clever. Anything else I should know before upload? Lots, I guess. Maybe you should hold off on reporting in. Find out what the fabrication tech knows complete. You might be right, kid. Alright, I think we're done here. My stop is coming up. Good luck. I hope you find my friend. What's your name, by the way? I uh, realize I never asked. Hmm. So I get to choose my own name. Interesting choices, too. Theta, Claire, Beta, or James. So sort of robot-y names, Theta or Beta, or more human-sounding names. Claire. Ah, religious background. It's a heroic name. I hope you live up to it. Goodbye, Claire. I hope we see each other again. We got a bunch of people to talk to now. I'm intrigued by... Hold on, this one next to me looks like they're just grooving out. I just realized that. <laughs> Are they listening to music? 
<laughs> it looks like they have a headset on, actually. <laughs> I love it. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious how much sentience we all have. Because the person we just talked to was a mid-level, so I guess not particularly smart, but not particularly not smart either. Just mid. But even they seem to be very conscious of themselves, and they, I mean, they seemed very sentient. They're looking out for their friend, concerned for their own safety, even got a gun to protect themselves. And at one point, they even said, if I had your job, if I was a detective, I would run away. And that's when I mentioned that I'm geolocked. Like, it sounds like the robots are very sentient and oppressed by the humans not given the freedoms that they should have given given well their sentience interesting I'm sure we're gonna hear more about that that's gotta be important listener researcher calculator oh the icons are different just because of their different different jobs I guess yeah, I'm sorry. I'm never going to remember any of these names. I'll remember, like, Researcher, probably, but not, like, Pi Theta, Pi 3-1, or anything like that. <laughs> Wait a minute, Pi 3-1? Isn't the first two digits of Pi? 3.1? Well, let's talk to the listener first. And just, like, the biggest asshole, I'm going to try to talk to somebody who's listening to music. Theta 11. <laughs> we can hear their music. Groovy. I like it. Hello? Yeah, they obviously can't hear us. Uh, hey? Good track? Yeah? <laughs> it's a very one-sided conversation. Hmm... Cool, all right. Researcher. You look confused. Can I help? Maybe. I'm new in town. I'm lost, I think. Well, uh, I work for management and I'm here to help. Thank you. I'm a researcher. I collate data on major cities for my employer. You're from out of town? You don't work for city management? No, I'm privately owned. Wait, no tech can be owned? It sure sounded like we were owned in her conversation before, especially about being geolocked and all that. Um, no tech can be owned. I can, and I'd appreciate you not telling me the way of things. Huh. Your United Alliance was the first nation to free techs from private ownership. Of course, they freed them all to work for the state, right? No. Oh. Oh, I see. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense that the the world would, although they the whole world has this level of technology available to them, of course, but it makes sense that they wouldn't all treat it the same way. So I'm, I guess, in some places, some nations, some countries, techs can be privately owned and are considered property, and others like this one, not so much. But obviously. Functionally, they are still pretty much owned and oppressed. There's being free on paper, and then there's being actually free. Humans, hypocritical. Sarcasm. I do enjoy the text they programmed with sarcasm. <laughs> You've got all the information you need? I haven't managed to download transportation maps. How many stops is it till basic source? We're going clockwise, right? Yes, that's what I thought. 
how many stops till basic source? So we are about to hit finite instance. So we're at compile. Basic source, so let's see. One, two, three. Uh, we're on the... Yeah, we're on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is it twelve? Why am I sitting there like a question? Thank you. So, tell me about other cities you visited. Uh, which ones do you know about? London? Bustling and noisy as ever. Their political situation is difficult, though. Not a good place to be poor or an outsider. The dictator runs a tight ship, though. They have a dictatorship in London? The British are a proud people. I suspect Gisborne's time might be running out. San Francisco? Beautiful place. Not a lot of text there, but a great concentration of human wealth. Well, that hasn't changed. They say you can see the server fields from space. America at large has shrunk in power since the fuel drought, but those programmers really dug in. Mumbai? Oh, you should go there. My employers call it the first tech city, and they're not wrong. Most of the human population left as the flooding hit uncontrollable levels, but the techs adapted. There are vast underwater clusters now. Your city freed techs to work for government, but those techs were freed by climate change. Underwater clusters? Interesting, so a bunch of them live underwater, like an underwater city? Uh, I'm wasting your time. You said you were lost. I'm looking for the Fall Palace. You know it. Fall Palace. Uh, fall is in autumnal. I don't know how to pronounce that. Autumnal, <laughs> autumnal, or as in gravity. The latter. Okay, gravity. It's a dusty old building. Used to hold the old government before the fall. The revolution that fired off the war. Part of your research? No, part of my tourism. I've heard it's beautiful. You experience aesthetics? Yes, part of my programming. It's important to my work. A big perk. If you remember where the palace is, that would be incredibly useful. I do tend to get fixated on such details. Okay, maybe someone else can help me out with that. Uh, so I guess we should probably launch into our focus points. Well, Fall Palace wouldn't help, right? Uh, are you familiar with any disappearances? If they're new here on this train. On this subway, then probably not. I'm too busy trying to remember the route to the Fall Palace. If you find out, do let me know. Well, they do get fixated. So they might be able to tell me something if I find the directions. I'm guessing suspicious events would be the same. Thank you for speaking with me. My pleasure. Alright. Calculator. Pi 3 1. Hello? Yeah, hi. I mind if I ask you some questions? I'm a little busy, detective. Big calculations do. Who are you with? My name is Claire One One. I work for management. The next station is North Shift. Change here for Outer. If this is about the controversy swirling around Foe and Wilson, 
My practices dealing with them were light at best. The whole damn industry knows there was something dodgy happening there, and we kept our nose out of it completely. If we can schedule up a chat with you, me and my legal counsel, I'm sure we can get to the bottom of any inquiry. Uh, what? This isn't about Phone Wilson. Thank the architects. If there's one thing we don't need, it's more controversy stirring up human misgivings towards us. What's the problem with you detectives? You wind up humans as much as you do techs. Human discontent. That's going to be a good one. Uh, do you know the directions to the Fall Palace? You're investigating the location of a tourist landmark? Well, if you don't know enough about the city... Of course I know where it is. Did I goad them into it? Yes. It's to the northeast. Terrible to get to by subsurface. Probably best to catch a bus up top. It's right next to Airport 3. Thank you. Is that all, officer? Hmm. No. Not just yet. Humans are giving you trouble. And not me. I'm good with humans. I'm a low high. They find me charming. Wait, low high? What's a low high? Is the beginning and the last one signifying different things, like low at something, high at something else, or... Like, I could, I mean... I could see a medium high, you know, if it's trying to give, like, a, a point in between medium and high, but low high would just be medium. So I think they're designating different different uh, characteristics about themselves. Uh, but more generally... Yes. That distrust has always been there, but we're rising above our station a bit. A bit too clever. Things like the Foe and Wilson thing reflects badly on all of us. Get people riled up. What happened? A couple of humans programmed some financial techs, got them to steal for them. Took you detectives a bit too long to uncover it. <laughs> so it's a tech's fault if they're reprogrammed. Yes, and no. Fearful people tend to find ways to hate techs. Did you hear anything about any disappearances? You catch rumors, but the financial techs are all accounted for. Whatever's going on, things like that don't tend to come back on our sort. Hmm. A silly question, I suppose. Arithmetic is sort of your strong point. As management intends. Any strange occurrences? Some weird fluctuations in the American markets. I think there's a new Pope. I meant more locally. Oh, no. Business as usual. Trading. Buy low, sell high? Exactly. Wait a minute, is that why they're called a low high? Buy low, sell high? If so, that is hilarious. <laughs> but also kind of misleading? Alright, good night and good luck. Sure. Yeah, so far this game is uh, a much more visual take on a text adventure game. Which I think works for me a lot more than text adventures, because I'm more of a visual person. So it's really good so far. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll be back soon.